welcome back, village. This is Bobby Kintu with another episode of Jedi Learn. Today, we're going to work on the babies. Yes, that first age grade. That would encompass anybody from zero years old always all the way up until 12. Because around 12, you reach over from 12 to 13, that's puberty. That's a whole other grade level. But we can do some STEM activities all the way up until that point. So if you're looking at technology, engineering, mathematics, and science, this is something you can do with the babies. Now watch this. So today's assignment will be based on science, technology, engineering, mathematics, specifically engineering and mechanics. So it's like a little scavenger hunt. And all you simply gonna do is assign your learner to look through the house to find any simple machine they can find, okay? And when they find that simple machine, have them bring it to you and you explain to them how it works. Now, I'm gonna show you one that I was able to find and I bet a bunch of people got these open these days. So this is one thing I found, chip clip, okay? It has some very basics. It has a fulcrum, which is that middle point right here that allows you to leverage the power to pull back something that's squeezing with such force. But when you let it go just enough, pow clamps on whatever you need so good old chip clip okay i know everybody didn't open up some doritos and some funyuns and flaming hot cheetos and uh, uh you have a tool right here this is an ancient tool uh, you know this one even has little butterfly folds so that you can store it a little bit easier okay you could even go into that science how it snaps and locks down but that's one little thing that you can look for in your house it may not be this complicated it's a fancy one i don't even know where this one came from i didn't pick it up but the point is you see a mechanical item here's another one that i found on my scavenger hunt and it is something that i had to use today as a matter of fact um, some good old tweezers clippers uh, emery board and this little spear i don't even know what you would call this um, but people like to poke themselves in the cuticles with it so let's go ahead and open this up see what we can get up out of it okay shake it on down shake it down and the first thing i come up on is the good old clippers okay same situation as a matter of fact to the chip clip uh, but if you are keeping your hygiene together and you're not going to the salons to get your nails done and did then you should have one of these okay and once again you got the simple pulley system fulcrum lever that squeezes on this little particular pillar here this little jet pillar to allow the clip to happen snap okay another excellent tool and last but not least Anybody out there plucking out their gray hairs because they worrying so much? Anybody plucking out their mustaches because they letting it grow out or their eyebrows because they letting it grow out too long? You got something right here that you need. Pluck out them ingrown hairs out your face because you've been shaving too long. Let your beard grow out. But this is something that you can find too that has a very, very simple mechanics to it, okay? And remember, we're doing STEM activities science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, and engineering and mechanics is what we're dealing with. So if you find a simple tweeze, you can go into the science once again of two pieces of metal being joined together that are stiff enough that if they're pulled apart just enough, okay, as they are done here, they allow you this open space which you can use to grab something that is very, very fine and tweeze it back, okay? So these are just a couple of my favorite things that you can go get in your house. Tweezers, clippers, even though these aren't the ones that you saw originally, those was toenail clippers. <laughs> you can even go into the science of why the toenail clippers are so much bigger than the fingernail clippers, okay? But you can see these very complicated and simple systems that you can explain to them how they're used. And last but not least, the good old chip clip that everybody should have right about now. Got to keep those flaming hot Cheetos fresh. Got to keep those Doritos and those Lay's. Then you know those got they got those Roscoe's Lay's out now that you guys got to keep fresh. So make sure you get these tools out. Have your 
preschooler, first grader, kindergartner, second grader, it doesn't even matter. Anybody up until the age of about 12 years old, they can participate in this scavenger hunt in a simple STEM lesson on machines in the house. We'll catch y'all on the rebound. So here at Jedi Learning, you know we uh, resurrect communities through superior education. And this is something simple you can do with your homeschoolers, uh, with your children who are on time out right now, essentially, from their public or charter school, or just somebody you want to provide with some extra knowledge. Uh, hope you enjoy this exercise, and there will be many, many more to come. So stay tuned, and uh, remember, anyone can learn to learn. Peace.